We're minutes away from the Strike Force debut of Fedor Amelianenko. Fedor is a unique fighter with the rare ability to fight just as well on his back as he does standing. He is considered to be the one fighter in the world with no flaws, power puncher with movement, also possessing slick and explosive submissions. Some have labeled Brett Rogers as a long shot, but with an unblemished 10-0 record, KOs as well. The odds makers may be scratching their heads. They're saying that Rogers has a puncher's chance. Well, folks, he is a puncher. Coming up, Fedor, Brett Rogers after this. Sellout crowd at the Sears Center outside of Chicago, and this is the moment we've all been waiting for, the main event on Saturday Night Fights. When the fight starts, I look for that moment I can take advantage of. Oh, I definitely got the power. If he could take my heat, he's going to surprise me. Welcome back to the Sears Center. We're ready for our main event. Fedor Emelianenko taking on Brett the Grim Rogers and the tail of the tape. Tail of the tape here is all about height, Weight and reach. Rogers is a literal giant. Can Fedor kill the giant? And the tale of the tape brought to you by FullTiltPoker.net. So we're ready for our main event. Let's go inside the cage to Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Sears Center Arena as Strikeforce and CBS in association with M1 Global as sponsored by Rockstar Energy Drink present the Saturday Night Fights main event of the evening. Three five-minute rounds in a heavyweight special attraction. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and MMA fans joining us around the world, Live from Chicago, it's showtime! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Undefeated in his campaign with a record of 10 wins and no losses. Tonight, looking to make his mark in MMA history, please welcome the top-ranked heavyweight, the undefeated big-time striker, Brett the Grim Rogers. And his opponent in the red corner, really needing no introduction to MMA fans across the globe. His record, 30 wins, one loss, one no contest. Please welcome the former Pride champion, widely recognized as an icon of Russian sports. in charge now to give instructions big john mccarthy step over here let's go all right gentlemen went over the rules in the back i want you to protect yourself at all times obey my commands at all times fight clean fight hard fight fair if you want to touch gloves touch them now step back to your corners let's go So here we go, folks. The main event, Fedor Emelianenko, a legend in his home country of Russia, taking on Brett Rogers. This is what he's been waiting for, dreaming about. Dating back to when he was changing tires. Fedor, so revered that former Russian president and current prime minister Vladimir Putin has attended his fights. Here we go. Saturday night fights ready? on CBS. Let's get it on. And we're underway. Big time fight atmosphere in Chicago. The reaction that Fedor Emelianenko received was thunderous. Emelianenko and Rogers showing respect. Rogers looking uncharacteristically jittery. 
He's waiting to punch, and it might be a problem. He needs to punch first. Wild left hand by Fatal. That jab of Rogers landed, though. Rogers stepping off now. Wants to keep this fight on his feet. As long as Rogers punches straight, as long as Rogers punches first, he should meet Fedor at the end of his fist. He's Fedor is right not already bleeding. Yeah. That first jab that he threw, it hit him right in the eye, right in the nose area. Cut it. Look at those feet. There it is again. Fedor. Fedor. Rogers scrambling to get up. The Fedor.
Another look. Rogers had the right plan. He was working the game, but bam, Fedor literally jumped into that punch and it connected right on the chin of Rogers. Jumped on him and finished him up. This is why he is so dangerous. One punch, the entire fight can change. And that stand-up was all about range and timing. And we said that Rogers had to punch first. He had to punch first. He waited for a second there. He waited one second, Fedor came over the top, clipped him, and it jumped right on him for the finish. Final look at it, this is gonna show you where it hits, right on his chin. Here comes the punch, it's too late. Clean shot, Fedor was literally jumping into the punch. Emelianenko's eighth win via form of knockout. The last being Andre Orlovsky. And precision of this man is extraordinary. Here once again. 
Once again, is Jimmy Lennon Jr. with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time. One minute, 48 seconds.